In this video, we're going to dive deep into protein's role into supporting your nervous system. And when it comes to the best protein source for your nerves, your body, and your overall well-being, there's one superstar that stands out from the rest, the humble yet mighty A. So get ready for me to crack the secret as to why protein is so much more than just a muscle builder and why the egg deserves the first place of honor on your plate. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. explorers if you've been told your neuropathy is permanent I'm here to help you achieve new levels of health you've never dreamed possible so make sure you click on the subscribe button for up-to-date and accurate information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to overcome it also don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content now let's get started for decades we've associated protein consumption with building muscles we know how bodybuilders consume huge amounts of protein to enhance muscle growth, and we also know how many athletes rely on protein drinks to boost their intake. It's only been over the last decade, due to research of the ketogenic diet, that we've begun to recognize that there's a bigger link to protein and overall health. However, the dots have never been fully connected to the role that protein plays in maintaining the health of the, and function of your nervous system. So let's take a look at how this works. Protein plays a crucial role in the health of your nervous system for several reasons. The nervous system, which includes the brain, the spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves, relies on proteins to maintain proper structure and function. So let's examine the role proteins play within your nerve health. First, let's look at the structural components of the nerve cell. Think of the nervous system as a vast highway system that stretches throughout your body. The highways are like the axons and the dendrites of the neuron, which are made up of proteins and serve as the infrastructure for transmitting nerve signals. Second, think of the nerve signals as the cars traveling on the highway. These cars represent the electrical impulses that neurons generate to transmit information. Electrical impulses are made possible because of the myelin sheath and specialized proteins known as ion channels embedded in the cell membrane. And just like our highway system has intersections, our nervous system also has intersections called synaptic junctions, where one neuron communicates with another. At these junctions, the information is transferred from one nerve to another. Now, the traffic lights and the signals at the intersections are like neurotransmitter signals between our neurons. Neurotransmitter are chemical messengers that send and receive signals between cells and control various bodily functions, including mood, movement, sensory perception, which is how our brain interprets our environment, and proteins play a vital role in the production and regulation of neurotransmitters. And finally, proteins also act as the road maintenance crew. Just, a, just like a highway system requires a maintenance crew to keep the roads in good condition, neurons rely on structural proteins for growth and repair. Proteins play a large role in the formation of new connection between nerves and for the regeneration of damaged nerve fibers. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility that proteins play in nerve health. Leave me a comment below if, if this information took you by surprise. Now, out of all the potential protein sources in our diet, from animal-based protein, plant-based protein, and seafood, the humble egg is our superstar, and here's why. Number one, high quality protein. Eggs are the highest source of protein other than a mother's breast milk. Eggs are considered the healthiest protein source in the world because they contain more than 1,500 different unique proteins that have a wide array of functions in your body from supporting and strengthening your immune system to anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and anti-cancer properties. For this talk though, I want to focus primarily on the amino acids contained in eggs. So we're talking about all nine essential amino acids that are critical to your body's function. The egg contains histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. All nine essential amino acids in the right proportions needed by your nerves and your body. 
So when ranking protein by its quality and nutritional density, eggs rank number one, while meats rank number two, third is dairy, and plant protein comes in last place. Now, the biggest reason plant protein ranks last is because very few uh, plants contain all nine essential amino acids. Now, there are a few exceptions to this, like quinoa, hemp seeds, soybeans. So for vegans and vegetarians, it's extremely important to know how to combine foods to achieve complete protein profiles, like when you eat rice and beans. Now, the second reason eggs rank as number one protein source is because of the high biological value. The biological value of protein measures how efficiently your body can absorb and use it. Eggs have one of the highest biological values among all protein sources and even surpasses meat in this category. This means that a large portion of the protein in the eggs is more easily absorbed and utilized by the body, more so than meat. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of meat lovers out there scoffing at this statement, so I came prepared. Remember, health warriors, my job is to deliver the facts to you and not my opinion. So if I, I've included a research study that you see over my shoulder so you can take a look at the science for yourself. Okay, moving forward. The third reason eggs rank as the best protein source is because of the nutrient density. Eggs aren't just a great source of protein. They're also packed with other critical nutrients for nerve health, including vitamin B1, B5, B6, B12, riboflavin, niacin, inositol, and folate. These B vitamins play an important role in the health of the myelin sheath of the nerve, along with supporting mitochondrial function and reducing oxidative stress and inflammation of the nerves. Eggs are also a rich source of minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, and trace minerals such as iron, zinc, copper, manganese, iodine, and selenium. These minerals are important for nerve signal transmission and myelin sheath synthesis. There are still many more vitamins that eggs supply to the body like vitamin A, D, E, K, and omega fatty acids. Now, as good as this all sounds, it still gets better. Eggs also contain antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin. Most people have heard of these two antioxidants for eye health, but did you know they play an important role in your nervous system? New studies are on the rise, including data published by the Journal of Physiology and Behavior, showing that lutein and zeaxanthin may boost cognitive performance, enhance memory and attention, and even processing speed. The humble egg also supplies us with an essential nutrient called choline. Since our body can't produce su sufficient levels of this nutrient, we need to meet the body's requirements from food. The only meat that surpasses the amount of choline found in eggs is liver. Since there's only a small percentage of people in the US who consume liver, you might be happy to hear that egg is the number two candidate and contains more choline than a servant of meat. In fact, one egg yolk contains 140 milligrams of choline. By the way, there is no choline in egg whites. While eight ounces of beef contains only 100 milligrams of choline. So what's so important about this nutrient? Choline is important for maintaining the structural integrity of cell membranes, especially nerve cell membranes. The health of these membranes is crucial for proper nerve impulse and conduction. Choline is also a precursor to acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in nerve signaling and is also responsible for muscle control, memory, and mood regulation. Now, maintaining a healthy myelin sheath of the nerve is dependent on the amount of choline available. Choline is a major component of the myelin sheath that surrounds and insulates nerve fibers and maintains the integrity of the function of the myelin. Now, recent studies have also found that choline may help protect nerve cells from oxidative stress and inflammation, which contribute to nerve damage and neural degenerative diseases. So before we go any further, I think it's important to address the elephant in the room, which is, if I eat too many eggs, won't that raise my cholesterol? Well, the short answer is no. This is a myth that continues to be perpetuated even by doctors, but here are the facts. In six major clinical studies, it was found that eggs did not increase cholesterol and was not associated with heart disease in healthy people. Now, with regards to cholesterol, here's what many studies have proven. 
eggs do in fact increase good cholesterol or HDLs, which most adults over the age of 50 are low in. Now, you may hear a few doctors quote negative studies that say eggs will raise your bad cholesterol and increase your risk of heart disease. But these studies are seriously flawed. First of all, these studies were questionnaire-based studies or observational studies. The data gathered from these studies wasn't thorough, carefully controlled, or a double-blind study. The participants are given a list of questions about their health and the consumption of eggs, and then the data is collated and interpreted. The information gathered in these studies is not really considered valid nor reliable. So why are these so-called studies even performed? Well, they're usually done by special interest group who have a bias and want to slant the information in their favor. Now, I could do an entire video on the poor scientific quality of these studies, but I think you get the picture. So let's dig deeper into the myths of eggs raising your cholesterol. Eggs are naturally high in cholesterol. However, nature is a genius at balancing things out. Eggs also contain lecithin, which is essential to your cells. Eggs contain choline and vitamin B3 or niacin. Each of these break down the cholesterol in eggs so it doesn't raise bad cholesterol, but the bonus of the flip side of the, this is that it does elevate your good cholesterol. Now, there's still one more fact that most people aren't even aware of. Eggs also contain a fatty acid known as sphingomyelin. Now, this compound has been shown in research studies to prevent plaque in, in your arteries. So it's time to retire the myth about eggs raising your bad cholesterol. Now, let's dispel another myth. Myth number two, it's healthier and more nutritious to eat only egg whites. Now, this is completely false. The myth came about when eggs received the bad cholesterol wrap. It was further perpetuated when bodybuilders were trying to avoid fat so they would only consume the whites. However, it's now known uh, amongst not only bodybuilders, but the scientific community as well, that eating the whole egg is much more beneficial than separating the whites, and here's why. The greatest nutrient impact is found in the egg yolk, where the largest amount of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants are contained. Also, when compared on a gram for gram basis, egg yolks contain more protein than whites. British Lions, which is UK's most successful food safety mark for strict guidelines, reports that egg whites have 10.8 grams of protein per 100 grams, while the yolk contains a whopping 16.4 grams of protein per 100 grams. Now, research has shown that eating the whole egg gives you much better results with post-exercise muscle repair and muscle building. It also helps prevent sarcopenia, otherwise known as muscle loss or muscle wasting, which is extremely prevalent as we age. In fact, the strongest predictor for overall health in seniors is the amount of muscle mass they retain. Now, here's a common question that I get posed. Is consuming raw egg better than cooking the egg? When consuming raw egg, let's say you put it in a smoothie as your protein source, there's an enzyme in the raw eggs that are protease inhibitors. This means it can limit the breakdown of the protein in the eggs, reducing the bioavailability of proteins for your body. When the egg is cooked, this enzyme is destroyed, making the protein source much more available for your body. One other point is that raw egg whites contain a protein called avidin, which binds biotin and can prevent its absorption in the body. However, it's important to note that it would take consuming at least two dozen egg whites daily for many months to cause a, a biotin deficiency. So in my opinion, based on the science, biotin deficiency isn't a huge concern with consuming raw eggs. I'm more concerned about the reduced protein absorption. Now, with all of the different choices in eggs at the grocery store, you're probably wondering which is the best egg. Don't worry, we're gonna educate you, but you have to watch our next video for that information, how to choose the best egg. And there you have it, Health Explorers, the incredible journey with the unsung hero, the humble egg. It's not just for omelets, it's your powerhouse for your nerves and your overall well-being. So the next time someone asks you, what's your secret to nerve health? You can confidently say, it's no secret at all, it's the mighty egg. Until next time, keep, keep cracking those myths and breaking those barriers to better health. It's known amongst not only, <laughs>
<laughs> he was playing with her tail, so she got up. Oh, is that what happened? We got lucky. That's all she did. <clears throat> all right. 